Hi there, I'm Bonnie Log Cabin Stitcher. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my sewing room. It is a whole new year. Um, this will be my first video for 2022 and I wanna share with you a few things that I have finished. And two of my favorite Christmas things that I made, or maybe it was three, and show you what I'm up to. And I'm gonna show you some whips. I have 31 whips. I thought it was only 20 something, so it's a little more than I want to have, and we'll see if I get some things done, but I thought I would share them with you because I went to rewatch my beginning of 2021 whip parade, and it was fun to see the things that I was working on and what I actually got finished during that year. So I'm doing this for myself as well as sharing some things with you. So I'm gonna show you, actually I only had one finish since my last video. So this will be floss tube number 44. So this is a bowl full of Mary's and I did change out the color because my called for was just way too light and I did a finish of the ruching. Now Vanna, the twisted stitcher, has a great finishing floss tube channel and I am just simply using stuff that I have and it was from my beading days, I had a lot of ribbon. And I, this is the, the size of the ribbon that I had. And I kind of placed it around and went to work on it, you know, picking it up um, with a thread in the pillow, picking up the ribbon, going down, just like Vonna shows. And when I got to the end, I realized this was not as gathered as the rest of it. So I thought, well, how can I hide it? And what I came up with, I have a collection of bells. And when I was cleaning this year, I found some of these fun, they look like Victorian bells to me. And so I, I was trying to figure out how to put them on there. I didn't want to do a bow. And what I came up with was just more of my beading supplies. So this is what I got at Joann's. I am sure that I got it on sale. It's like, um, is it real leather? I doubt it. It's suede. I'm looking at the back. It's suede um, and it's just cord to make jewelry. So I used the green and I tied, I think it's like an overhand knot and I just glued that on there. So I have my bells and it was fun. It was fun to have a finish and I really like having the pillows to tuck around in different places. So that was a finish and then I am going to do, so that was this one. So a bowl full of Mary's, Mary one. Then I also have Mary two. Now I'm not going to do it in black. Black are not my colors and um, I thought I would choose some colors. I'm using the same two, the same green and the same, um, what is that? So some of the same colors and I will try to put this in the show notes, but just since I have this here, it is um, green as pine needles and used brick is what I used for Santa. So I'm gonna use that and I'll probably make his sleigh a little bit darker red. So both of those are, oh, all three classic color works. And I'm gonna use khaki mocha for the beard. That's what showed up. And then I have a piece of vintage, vintage homespun. 36 by um, R&R. &R. So the white showed up very well on that. So I'm getting that ready. It's not even, um, it's not even in a project bag. I ran out of Christmas project bags. I at one time was gonna have, I had all these project bags I was gonna do. Life got in the way. I put those up in the closet. So we'll see if I get those done, but that was nice plans to have. Then the other favorite finish that I had was this from Country Rustic Primitives, I believe is what it is on Etsy, a, a download. So I talked about this on, on another floss tube and on my last floss tube, I showed how I did this finish. So that was the favorite. I love this whole thing, but I'm gonna show you another pillow that I loved even more. But this was a finish that I had this year but I loved how I did that finish and I shared how I did that. So again, my tutorial, not tutorial, explanation, but I also ordered, so this was the company that I got on Amazon, the that size of bell from, and then I got a larger size. So I believe this is 10, it's 10 millimeter, but it's like a quarter, quarter inch and this is like 
looks like almost an inch or three quarters of an inch. So I just wanted a larger size bell to have as options. And I just have a collection of bells so that I can do finishing. And I have bells from the days that I used to do woodworking and crafts and sell them. So that was my favorite finish. But actually my favorite pillow, are you buried? Where did you go? Where did you go? My basket of cheer, here it is. When I had this, um, I had it up against something that was, it was, a, an, I love wood. I have a lot of wood in my house. And I would walk by this. This is called Basket of Cheer by Not Forgotten Farm. And this was a finish that I had as well. I did country redwood here. I did, so actually pine needles. So classic color works, pine needles and country, country redwood. I want to say that's gentle arts. Um, and I think this was cocoa, but all the rest of this was um, the DMC that was called for. But I realized I walked by this and I kept thinking, I love that. I love it. I love the design, but it was more than just the design. I also loved the colors. So that got me thinking. I thought, well, what else? There's something that I want to make that that I could not figure out the colors on. So I thought, aha, that's what I'll do. So I have the book um, Home for the Holidays and probably everything in here I want to make but the um, Christmas Garden. So where's Christmas Garden? Christmas Garden. So um, I had seen Carol Saltbox Stitcher's Christmas Garden and I loved it and I bought the floss but I didn't have the linen but I like the darker colors so this is what I was thinking. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do something similar. Uh, I don't know entirely what because I already bought all the threads, but I keep thinking I love this pillow and it would sit where I would hang this would be close to it. So I was trying to find that linen and I thought, uh, I knew it was a tea dye, but I had at one time, I had gotten out all my light linens because I bought several different linens at the very beginning. I bought a lot of linens, but several at the beginning that I bought were lighter than I know that I like now. So I had a piece of R&R &R, fuzzy sheep, but I tea dyed it. It was very light and I wanted it darker, but unfortunately it's not a big enough piece to do my Christmas garden. So I have a big piece of what is it light khaki it's weeks it, and I realize I'm not buying this anymore this is the old weeks and it's very loose and it's not as easy to work with but I'm going to finish it up but I realized I have a big piece of this so it's 35 and I prefer a 36 count so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tea dye a piece so I have it darker and that's what I'm going to start kidding up Christmas garden with because I'm always analyzing myself and I'm trying to think why do I like something? What is it about that that I like? So when I do Pinterest, I will pin a bunch of things. And if I'm doing gardening, I'll just pin a bunch of garden pictures that I like, and then I'll analyze it later. What do I like about it? Um, is it the, the shape, the texture, the color? So I do that, I do that with everything. So that's where I thought, okay, that'll be fun. Um, that'll be fun to work on. Now, the other things that I'm going to show you because I have this microphone and I have some big things I want to show you, but I keep thinking I'm going to, I'm going to make a mess here. I'm going to get it tangled up. So let's see what I can do um, before I show you the quilts. Now, last year, and I want to get ready. I don't have very many Valentine decorations at all. Last year I made a few and I, I took down Christmas decorations yesterday and then I'm putting back up my regular decorations today and I'm putting a few things of Valentine up. Um, I'm still, and then I realized, oh, that's still Christmas. So I'm still in the works and I don't know what I'm gonna put up there because um, I'll show you, I'll show you why because I'm working on a project. Anyway, this was a, uh, let's see, with quilts it's UFO, unfinished objects. So I gotta, cause I'm looking at my quilts. Um, whips works in progress so this was um, a free pattern from Lori Brecklin from not forgotten farm so it's farmhouse not forgotten dot blogspot dot com and I did this in Valdani so it was a piece of 30 and I used my 12 size 12 Valdani and I wanted it more primitive and I really really love 
how um, the basket came out and it has because it's thicker it has um, it has some dimension to it but this was just a piece a large piece of linen that I bought when I was brand new last year just trying to decide what I was going to do I think this was a 30 count so it's very conducive to the pearl cotton that's what Valdani is is the pearl cotton not the not the embroidery floss so I had this that I was going to work on last year so I want to do a finish but I want to do a wall hanging something small like that and I had all this out I had some um, primitive gatherings I had cut a bunch of this jelly roll and then realized I didn't want to use it for what I had thought I did so I thought oh I took a jelly roll which is two and a half inches and cut an inch and a half off but that is very perfect for doing um, it's so Emma the pineapple paper piece um, quilt block so I and this is how I do it I draw things out so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the quilt the how many what is that oh I wrote it down eight quilt blocks and I'm gonna do a, um, a wall hanging so that's what I had out to do with it and it's really great when I do notes and I do drawings because a lot of times I put it away and I totally forget what I had come up with so that's what I had kept it all together oops I better put my my thing back in okay so I'm all ready to do that and hopefully I will get that done for Valentine's Day um, I have my phone on silent and I have stuff going on um, okay so then there's another project that I was working on so New Year's Eve um, we had a little bit different New Year's Eve than we had planned and um, so we were alone just my husband and I for New Year's Eve and we had planned that my son was gonna come over then he ended up going and getting together with some friends and my husband fell asleep before midnight but I always stay up till midnight so it was so fun that my son it was just a few minutes after midnight and my son knew I would be awake so he called me and told me happy new year so that was very fun um, my other son doesn't stay up it doesn't stay up late but I had worked on this so this is a freebie so another freebie from um, heartstring sample heart Beth twist heartstring samplery um, from her blog spot so this is Auld Lang sign so this is on vintage country mocha and um, I switched out some of the colors and I'll put those in the show notes but I really had fun I had a little bit left I had a small piece of um, which one is that I had two skeins partial skeins probably of what is that bramble bush but only some of it had that darker gold on the tip most of it was solid so it is beautiful um, these colors on there so very beautiful and so I was able to play around with it and get the to get the the light um, the light tone um, on the beginning of some of the letters so it was very fun and then um, I was working on it I was I was hoping to get finishes because I did a count and I did not realize oh and that was 32 count um, vintage country mocha and I did two over two I did not realize how many whips that I had and it was a little disconcerting only because I have so many hobbies and so many Pro projects going and I want to finish them off I don't want to always have so many things not finished so I decided to get some things done let's see if I can do this without um, knocking you over I am a quilter and I have oh and I forgot I'll put the this pattern I found it I had my mom's working copy um, and I've, I've made this so many times um, that I knew I knew what the pattern was but I bought the pattern and um, I'll put it in the show notes because it is for sale um, and I got it because I make it so often I figure I need to do that because I really didn't think it was for sale anymore because a lot of the older ones my mom my sister and I have um, had patterns from long ago even though I didn't start quilting again until 0607 we have a lot of older patterns so I finished this got the final stitching on and I call this one French goose I'll share more about it when I finally do a quilting video 
like everybody, we have just had a lot of stuff going on in our life, but I do hand quilting. It's basically just the running stitch. I just sit, I do not do a hoop. I sit and I spread it out on my lap and I just do it without a hoop and it's just the running stitch with the size 12 Valdani and I use embroidery needles thin enough to go through but a thick enough one that I can get um, the thread through that eye. So it's generally, I get, uh, I get the size five through 10 pack of embroidery needles. So very fun, got that one finished. And then I thought, oh, it's red and white. And this was only two years in the making. I started it in February of 2020. So um, kind of a Valentine one and that's fun. And then I thought, wow, I'm on a roll. Let's just keep going. And when I'm doing the hand quilting, um, these two fingers get very sore because I just use a thimble tip thing um, here and I don't, I don't use a thimble here. Is that my lipstick or is that chopped lips? Okay, so my fingers get sore, so I can't quilt for days and days and days on end, but, um, oh, landslide. We'll see how I get that when I have my cord on. Okay, so the quilt that usually hangs in that background, let's see again, this is tricky when I have a cord on. Oh, poor Riley, he just jumped on the ground. So I am working, I just started last night working on hand quilting this guy. Um, let me sh see if I can show you where the stitches are. Yes, here's the stitches. So um, same thing, um, Valdani, size 12. Um, hand quilting, running stitch. I uh, just stitch and stitch and go. Um, I don't really think about it. Here, let me try to get the stuff that just fell. Okay, see, I've got so much to show you guys. That's why I needed to do this video. And um, the other thing that I had finished this year that was one of my favorite things was this. This was hanging right there and it is a small and it's a Joe Morton pattern and I basically copied it just exactly from the pattern. These were just scraps that I had and it was perfect. Um, these were scraps that I was given by my sister or my mom and I loved it and I loved, even though it is a very narrow, so this is like one inch cut, half inch finished. You can still see, I love those fabrics. You can still see those fabrics. Um, and I'm getting fibers in my throat. <clears throat> I was dusting today, putting it, my husband was saying, oh, at least the house gets dusted once a year because I was dusting everything before I put the everyday back up. But apparently I ate a lot of dust. So what I was thinking is I would love to make more of these because they were so enjoyable. I really do love the narrow strips. Um, so I had wanted to make a fall one. I didn't make a fall one, but I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll make a Valentine's Day one. So we'll see. We'll throw that down there, but I'm watching Riley. Okay, so that is from this book, Joe's Little Favorites. And you can see where I copied it. Um, see, almost exactly. And that's why when I had, when I saw my scraps, I thought, oh my word, it's just perfect for that. So. Um, you can have one too. I have all of Joe's little favorites. Um, and there we go. That's the one it's from. Now, here's, I'm going to show you my 31 works in progress. And I'm going to tell you something too. I have, if you've been following me, um, from the beginning, you will see that I was not going to get back into cross stitching. And then I decided in, oh, what was it? September of 20. 20 that I was going to get back into cross stitch and I bought way too much stuff um, because it, it is so it is so hard and it's addicting and I'm seeing everybody on floss tube and then I you know pause by pause by then I stopped because it was just getting way too much and I had way too much stuff because I have way too many hobbies so I did stitch what you got so I had to tell myself girl you have enough stuff just stitch what you got so that's, that's been my thing, stitch what you got. And other people are doing it too, and I love it. Well, here we go, I'm going even deeper. Um, so I'm having a no spend January. 
And it was so funny because on New Year's Eve, I had been waiting for someone to come back up Sobrosa. I wanted something from Sobrosa Designs. And on New Year's Eve, like at midnight, it said, oh, Sobrosa is, is back online or back, her shop's back op open. And I thought, oh, darn it, it's January 1st. But I thought, oh, technically, yeah, technically it was January 1st. So I thought, I'll just, oh. So I have caught myself doing that so many times and stopped myself. I'll just, or yeah, but, but no, no, no spend January, stitch what you got, girl, be happy with what you have. So I would like to challenge you guys, whether or not it's, I just want to challenge people for whatever reason um, to try to stitch what you got, even though, and I feel guilty in a way because I am showing you all these things that I'm working on. And I know because I watch other people, that's what prompts me to buy, but it's my choice. It's not the person. <laughs> it's my choice whether I respond and I buy and I over buy for whatever reason. Um, I am loving getting into the minimalist lifestyle. I follow several people and they're on my playlist. There's a new girl that I found. Hers is called Slice of Light. And um, she was talking about minimalism and um, it's just, it's just a lifestyle that I need. I have, I'm a collector. So I just have way too much stuff. We want to reduce the stuff we have. I have stuff everywhere and I don't want it. So this is my challenge to you. And this is what I was doing as I'm watching my friends do their floss tubes and I'm seeing their whip parades. And um, I did pause, but now I have a list. So I have a list on my phone of patterns that I would like to get. But the other thing is, as I'm looking through all the patterns of things that I will probably never get to, what do I have that's very similar to the thing that I want? And I better, I better stitch that one that's similar now. So that's my challenge to you. Um, see what you have. I love to inspire people and I would love to inspire you to stitch more. Shanda Quilting in Idaho started last year with Stitch More, Start Less. And then um, there's, there's so many different concepts. So we have plenty. I would bet you have plenty. So let me preface that and inspire you to stitch what you got, but be inspired to stitch. Here is something else. As I'm getting into this lifestyle um, and really looking at, I'm even going to start doing the B word. That's the budget. I have not ever wanted to do that. But since we're looking at maybe retiring early, we better do that. So last year, I had thought that I was going to get a bonus um, and the company that I work with just did not give out bonuses, not this Christmas, but the Christmas before last. So I had spent my bonus money and didn't get it. Um, and so here's the funny thing. I thought, oh, I just have to buy this stuff. Well, I bought it last year, even though I did not get my bonus. Um, and it's still pretty much all sitting here from last year, even though I just had to have this stuff. It's Kathy Smith's. It's a line of her stuff and it's patterns. And I just had to get it all. And I was going to do it last year, but no, I still have one of my whips is right here. It is one of those. So that's the other thing that I'm thinking. I have so much stuff that I just had to get. And um, I need to use what I have because I don't need more stuff. This is what I need to get finished. It's almost done, but this is called Let It Be. So it is darling. It was an instant download. And um, there we go. I think it's, I was hoping, I don't know why, but I just thought it was going to be smaller. Um, I think it would be cuter smaller but it's cute here. So I could just get it finished. I even have the beads. I have everything in here to get it finished. It's just not finished. So um, there we go. I am going to inspire myself to get things finished. And oh, this is even in a panel came with the fat quarter collection that I got. So I pieced together like Frankenstein pieced together 
um, that panel to get it in there. And it's a darling project bag. So I am going to be putting things in because I had lost a pattern last year <laughs> on my whip parade. So I am not going to do that this year. And thank you, Kathy B. You are my sweetheart. Um, that you gave me your chart that I was missing. So um, that's the challenge. So write down maybe things that you might want, but see what you've got that might work. And there's so many freebies. So here, see, because I didn't have a project bag, this is my project bag. This is how far I got. Um, and what is this? It's a freebie. But it is, um, Do You See What I See by Shelly On. It's an instant download, but all I have is the chart. So, and I even bought the frame. I sh I've shared about these in all my other videos, but I even bought the frame for $2 at a thrift store that looks like that frame that it's in. And I painted it and did Brie Wax um, and then broke some glass on top of it and it got kind of scratched. But I even have that frame that will go with it. So that's another one of my whips. Where am I going to put all this? Let's see. Let's see where we can stack this. Okay. Now here is, see, this was my other project bag that I did with, um, with that collection. And again, the inside has that panel. Um, this one, not very far finished. Um, this one I think is vintage sand dune. This is the last piece of my favorite vintage sand dune. And um, this is Threadwork Primitives Never Fading. Huh, never fading yet the sun is fading. So I have my stitching box that I did that I've shared many, many times. The thumbnail is there. I did that stitching box and now I want to do this because I have a collection of buttons and um, buttons and skeleton keys that I'm going to put on there. So let's put that away and zip that baby back up. Okay, so here and now it's going to be easier to see. So look at, we've got all these. And I think when I did my one year anniversary or one year flossiversary, I think I had made 50 project bags. Um, so I've made all these project bags and it's part of the collection. It's part of what I love about having about this hobby because I love the project bags. I love matching things up. And on the top of my playlist, um, I have the girl Jen, Jen Crafts or something. That's where I learned how to make these project bags. And I get my zippers on Zip It Zippers. So this is, this is how far I've got. This is First Snow, another freebie, lots of freebies available. So this is a freebie by The Drawn Thread. So I had seen my friend Lisa Frenzy Fingers. Um, she had done this and um, I just needed to get that done. So I needed to start it. Obviously didn't need to get that done. But every time I look at our cabin, we have a little log cabin up in the mountains and um, my car is still in the collision shop after my accident. It's just, it's been a rough December. Um, so we can't go up to the snow right now until I get my car back. But hopefully that will be done soon. Okay. No whining, no complaining, girl. That's going to be my other thing. I'm tired of whining and complaining. All right, so cute project bag. Um, look at all these. So these are the DMCs. Tons and tons of DMCs. This is Not Forgotten Farm and um, Jingle All the Way. And all I have is this one, but it's on a piece of hand dyed linen. And I have one, one deer done. And it's amazing when I put all those colors together. That's why it's a good thing it's DMC. Um, and it's going to be coffee dyed af or tea dyed after I finish it too. But it's amazing how many colors there were. But when you do DMC, it's so affordable and wonderful. Okay, so here was an embroidery project, an old UFO that I had done many years ago. I always have fuzz on these. Um, and that one I taught, it's Crab Apple Hill Studios. I think it's still for sale. Um, oh, here's something. I had one of my viewers ask about this. So this is Sandcastle fabric and it is for sale. I copy and pasted the information on my last video and I'll do it on this one. I think it's from Diamond Textiles and it's like $17 a yard, but it's probably a big, it's probably wide. Um, I have no idea how much shipping is, but you can still get it. This color, I think their oatmeal would be close to that. So there is hope. 
what's in here this one I was having fun you know so this is weeks so this is weeks I wanted it darker this is not forgotten farm so I wanted mine darker because I wanted it more primitive but the color that I chose is, is just not working I've seen other people finish theirs and um, that's not right so I'm gonna have to undo that gray and um, redo him but that's the biggest chunk of it and um, I just realized I don't like the old weeks um, but the one thing I do realize this is what I'm doing part of my minimalist way of thinking is just using the same little um, I just get these from Joann's or from Park Lane and I just punch the hole in the bottom and that way um, when I'm done I just take that one off and put it in my um, in my um, how do I have mine? I have them. Um, I've shown my my wheel how I have them in the the. They're not floss away bags because that has the writing on it. I don't like that. They're um, yarnology from. I'm getting tired already. I can't get tired. Um, yarnology from Hobby Lobby. So that's I have found that's just an easier way than all the different cute fun things that people are doing I am finding that I do I am starting to embrace you know it's funny I say I start I'm starting to embrace the minimalist lifestyle but look at all the stuff I have it is what it is that's it okay so oops there we go back and forth okay so this is the one that I had lost that chart from and I still want to get this going and um, I have got to get this going it is um, oh Christmas tree so I ordered some different threads because the called for thread is not the same anymore at all. So I really want to get that going and we'll show you. I still, I started some stitches and then I took them off. So technically is it a whip? I don't know. It's in my basket. So here we go. Some more Christmas bags. I love Christmas. I love Christmas bags. I love working on Christmas all year long. So I need to get a lot of project bags going. This is um, Letters for Santa, and Carol Saltbox Stitcher had showed her finish, and I think it got a lot of people inspired to do it. This is, I'm going to do it on, this is some of the old weeks again, and I'm just going to finish it up, but I love these colors that I chose. They're just, I think they're different than what they called for. So, um, Letters for Santa, and I don't, oh, 30 count straw. So I'm wanting to use up my old weeks and then I will get the Zweigart based weeks when I go through all the stock that I have and I want to use up my larger count. But that one, that one was called for using a very large count. Here is, this is a Brenda Gervais um, gardening time. She still sells it on her Country Stitches online. Now this has several, these big bags are wonderful because um, you can get a lot of stuff in here and this see this is all my stuff from this amazing book so winds winds of autumn I have so many projects started from this I have this one started um, and I have where's the other one the the one let's see my book fell apart oh this one spell of the moon except I'm doing it um, I'm doing it like my nighttime cabin colors. So I usually work on it when I'm up at the cabin and I haven't had my car. We haven't been able to get up there. So we'll see. Um, that one is on tin roof and this beautiful color is Oki Finoki. I love it. And this is swamp water. So, um, I have, I have lots of my flosses here for doing, see all these lovely, lovely colors, but um, I have stuff ready to go but this one I stopped after fall even though I started this with Celeste um, from Celeste Creates and Jen from the Naughty Oak on Instagram and I know Celeste finished hers and I haven't even been on Instagram for a month or so but I love that house it's Sneckly um, so love it love it and we'll see I would like to get it finished um this year so i can have it up and ready and then i have this one all kitted up and ready to go but i i was gonna say i'm not gonna start it until i finish the other one we'll see i did finish waiting waiting for the harvest that was one finish that i had from that book 
So let's see if I can get all this back in there. You know, the other fun thing, I thought, do I want to do a whip parade? Um, and I thought, yes, because it inspires me. It inspires me to get all these out. I love each one of them. That's why I started them. And that's the other thing on why would I keep buying more and more and more stuff when I have all these lovely projects that I need to finish. I just need to have some self-restraint. <clears throat> I'm not known for self-restraint, but if I want to retire <clears throat> and I want my husband to retire, this girl's going to learn some self-restraint, <laughs> even if it kills me. Isn't that darling? Okay, so I'm choking on some water. That's not good. Oh, see, something came out from that bag. This could take forever because I do not want to make a mess. I want to get each thing cleaned up. Okay, this one, this was a kit, and it's Thankful Bee from Shepherd's Bush. There is one called Be Thankful, but this is a kit. Um, the only way you can get it is a kit from... And that's what it's going to look like without the frame. So that's how much I have done this far. I did not even work on it this year. So um, that was my introduction to silks and I loved it. It was funny when I was watching my um, whip parade from last year. I saw that and I thought, why haven't I worked on that? So see, I'm doing this for myself as well. Then... These were kind of all in order of, I had all the Thanksgiving ones out there that I could work on. And um, that's why all these Thanksgiving ones are in order. This is another, it's another Lori Brecklin and look at all the DMC. So lots and lots of DMC colors. This, this one is Thomas. And um, I know I've seen Lori Holt had a finish and I loved it. it I didn't realize how stitch heavy it was. It's funny because it's a small picture and I thought, oh, that's small. Whatever. It's not going to be that small. And I realized it's it's going to get coffee dyed after I stitch on it. But it is such a big project. And I do not like stitching on white. This was white Zweigart. This is 36. And I was so bored stitching with that white background. I like dark. So I thought I'm just going to coffee or tea dye it or coffee dye it. I did something. I think I had a day of tea dyeing. So I just dunked this. And so I tea dyed it. So that way it wouldn't be solid white. White, for whatever reason, makes me feel uptight. Maybe like doctor's office white. I don't know. But um, dark coffee chocolate. Um, I like old stuff. I've always worked with wood. Um, I like I like dark. So that made me a little more excited about working on it. All right, so here is another one. And this one is, um, oh, I know. I, this is where I really fell in love with. It was a funny tea dyed um, orange that I had. I made a mistake on this line, but this is, this really is showing up true to the color. So this is Toasted Barley. What company? I think it's Weeks Toasted Barley. And oh my gosh, when I was at, oh, and this is Country Redwood. So these are two of my favorite colors right now. So what is that one? That one's Autumn, Autumn's Bounty by Brenda Gervais. So, but I didn't want it that light. And actually that linen, that one, it is a lot lighter. Whatever that linen was, it would not have been that light. Um, it just, the picture just showed up very light. Um, see, so gosh, all these things are making me think, oh, I can't wait to stop this so I can get to stitching and do that. When really I have a quilt that I need to be working on too. See, I got so many fun things that I want to work on. Um, this one is one it's a small. Smalls are nice. I, I don't have very many big projects going, um, but smalls are good. And I had started this. I loved the one that I did, the love from Lori Brecklin so much with Valdani that I wanted to do this with Valdani because I love the texture. These are like fuzzy, like literally fuzzy rabbits from the Valdani, but I didn't have enough to do. I loved the picture. So this one, I actually did the color photo. I love that but I didn't have the Valdani's to make it happen. That is on 32 count raw. So I just thought, just do the DMC's then. So that's where I'm, 
I realize as I've been doing this, I realize I'm agonizing over trying to, to change things over to an over dyed or something else. So stop agonizing, start stitching and um, just do it. Whether it's the DMC or the over dyed, unless I really want to switch it out and it works. Otherwise I'm going to stop agonizing and just enjoy the stitch and enjoy getting it done because I have so many projects working on and because I've only been stitching for, I don't know, not even a year and a half, cross stitching again, I have so many not finished projects, but I love when I get something done and I love having it up in my home. So this was blocks, uh, UFO blocks left from my mom. And this is, I was, one year I did the handwork club so this is remember me and I didn't want to do it this dark so even though this is beautiful and see again I'm changing things over but okay so where's my oh, I was gonna say so where's my project it's inside here see so sometimes if I want to change it over and it's working of course I'm gonna allow myself to do that um, but this is as far as I got oh I know why because this was a mania start. So this was like a day or two of mania stitching. And I do like that pink. So um, it worked. It worked. Um, so I will probably do these two colors. So what are they? I don't know. I'll get have to, I'll have to get stitching on it. Because um, I'm not going to. There's no way I can get through this. And share so much. But I'm going to get stitching on it. So keep up with me. And um, I will be stitching that soon. I will. I will be visiting my dad next month in February. I may be there for Valentine's Day. I don't know. I was there for Mother's Day. Um, so I'm going to be taking some stuff to my dad's because cross stitch is so great to take um, and work on. And because that one reminds me of my mom. That's where I did. I did a lot of floss tubes already about that. And it was one that I started because of my mom. So I always take stuff that reminds me of my mom when I'm visiting my dad. Okay, so this is me and you. La -di da and it's called for linen, called for colors. So um, sweet, dark. I love that it's dark. I love, love, love that it's dark. And it's called for, but it's the weeks. Um, and I just realized I love the colors, um, but I, I hear people talking about the Zweigart base. And so that's where I'm not gonna, I'm not planning on buying more of the old weeks base because it is loose and sometimes it is hard to stitch. So I would like to see what, what the other base is like. Now, oh, here's, here's one. And this is where I decided I'm not gonna do this again where I have two different colors. <laughs> Why? I, I tried it and it looks, it looks fine like this, um, but it looks funny to me when it has something in it. And it's funny, that should be my valent. This should be, I'm gonna switch that out. That's a Valentine's one. But what do I have in there? I have a 4th of July thing. So let me switch that baby out. Oh, I know because I don't think I had any 4th of July project bags. This is from our own um, Christy Green, Daisy K's Primitives Instant Download. This would be quick. See, but again, it's on. The, if it's a small thing, I'm fine doing it on the white because you tea dye, you coffee dye it anyway. She has a great coffee dyeing tutorial. That's why I will never do one. But um, I stitched on this on 4th of July weekend and I've got all the stuff. I'm going to put it back in there, but I'm going to switch that out later. But I would like to get that done. I want to get down. I would be more comfortable with 25 whips. So that's where I thought, well, finish up, especially when I'm at my dad's. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be there. So take some smalls and get working on those. This is some fun. I think this was the one of the first zipper project bags I made. This is a smaller one. This is another la di da, la di da. I love the name of that. Where is it? And I only started this because I wanted to test on forty count. So this is blooms and berries. This this picture is really dark, and I don't think it's going to show. I think it's going to be so much more beautiful than this. But this I love craftsmen, and this looked very craftsman to me. So. Um, it is on this. Oh, I, this looks like Confederate gray, but this was the first. I was testing myself and I thought, oh, those 40 counts, those are small, but see, but I do want to do 
chickweed. I love Weeks chickweed, so I want to make those flowers chickweed. So, gosh, what am I going to stitch tonight? I may just do like an hour of stitching on a whole bunch of these because this that's why I really wanted to do this. I wanted to share because I love sharing with people what I'm doing to inspire. But I did have that guilty thought of I don't want to encourage everybody to buy. I mean, it's great for the small businesses. It's great for the artists and the designers. But with this thought of um, stitch what you got, you you go. You do what you want to do. Um, okay, so small bag with my mom's. Oh, this was so fun because I did the size of bag. Oh, I know. This was the girl that I learned from Jen on, remember the top of my playlist for um, project bags. This was her small and it's fine for small things. Um, but that's also, that's how big that piece of fabric was from my mom. This was my Christmas day um, from last year. So last year, Christmas day, I bought this for myself as a kit. Um, so I have everything. It even has the... Um, is that French General or Three Sisters? Whoever that is. Cute fabric. Got that going. But oh, I know. I was having trouble. It was probably late at night. I was having trouble with the counting on that. I, I stay up to stitch till after midnight. So of course I'm going to have trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay. This, uh, that was a, a, a do-over. And it's even a pocket. It was a do-over, do-over because it was actually, I was gonna, it's like, I was gonna tell you the whole story. I've talked about it in other videos before. So this is, this is the wonderful, so this is um, the dried, dried roses silk from Thread Gather. It's beautiful. And I wanted it so much from this. It really shows darker on um, Wendy Petros from the Heart Needle Art on her Etsy shop. It it shows darker than this and I've just swapped it. So even though she has this as the front, I'm doing this as the front and this as the back and I'm going to redo. See, I, I change everything. So I'm going to do something different on the inside because I've done that piece so many times. I don't want to do it again. So I'm just going to do something different in there. Oh! Look at how far I've gotten. Maybe I'll stitch on this tonight. So um, there we go. Oh, I was going to say, why do we have to do anything in life but stitch? But yeah, we do. Okay, so, and I've had to get over. I don't like that those bend, but I've gotten over it. But I, I do always try to correct it. So, oh, I know. Oh, there's the inside too. Oh, there's my cute neighbor walking up the street. Okay, so she's probably going to wonder what I'm doing. Um, so, oh, she thinks I'm showing it to her too. Isn't that sweet? I love her. Okay, so modern folk, um, birds of a feather. So this was, um, Jacob has so many beautiful projects and they're large. And, and I thought I need to do something small, but I had seen Christy, um, Daisy Case Primitives have a project on ale and this, but I wanted it small. So I think this is 40 count ale or something. Oh, this is cocoa, 40 count cocoa. But Christy had done this and this is the beautiful DMC 115. I had a ton of it because when I did embroidery, that was amazing for embroidery, but um, it, is tiny. I really do like 36 the best, but I wanted it very small. But look at how cool those are. So I may only do one that small and then do the other ones a little bit larger, but um, we'll see. I'm experimenting and I do have quite a bit of 40 count. So we'll see. Maybe I'll get, maybe that'll be my, this will be my year. Oh, I was tempted to not zip it up. Nope. Okay. That's only one basket down. I got one more to go and we're going to finish this up. But let me get it. Let's see if I can choke on this water again. There we go. Okay. My other basket. And I have shared my love of baskets. I only bought one new basket this year. Did I? Yeah. The other one was the year before. Only one new basket last year. I have all these baskets because I've had a collection of baskets 
probably all my life. I was born loving old things. Maybe I was born in a basket. You're getting shaked and jiggled. Okay, here we go. We're getting into springtime stuff. Another one, my mom's funky fabrics. Um, so this one I had to make small because that was as big as it could get. Um, this one, okay. I'm not a fan of these colors, not a bit. So I'm gonna change them up. And this was a coffee dyed linen. And I remember stitching on this at my dad's. Um, so this was part of mania. But see, I am finding I even like the coffee dyed or the tea dyed that I do myself better than some of the awesome, wonderful designers that are out there. So that's going to be my thing is if we're going to start, we're going to try to start living on retirement income, even though we don't even know what that income is going to be until we have so many things that we need to figure out. But I thought, I'm going to stitch what I got, but I can always coffee dye my own stuff. So this guy is cute. He's darker. And um, I just needed to find, I had chosen this color. And I thought, whoo, it's exciting. So we'll see. We'll see what I do. But I got that out to do the other night. And then I was just tired, probably because it was after midnight. My favorite time to stitch. Okay, another one of my mom's. I even tea dyed that. Okay, embroidery. I need to get my embroidery out. Um, this was something, this was, it's called a couch companion. So, um, I started working on it. It's going to be a big thing. Oh yeah, it is going to be a big project. So I started and there's different pieces. So this is, oh, there we go. That's the pin cushion. Then there's like a bigger piece for the outside. So I am into needle books. I am into stitching boxes. I'm into project bags. I'm into project rolls. So I think I, I really enjoy doing, doing different things with the projects that we have. This was a very old, I almost, I had given this to my mom and then I got it back from her and then I didn't like it because it was too white. See, uh, too white. It was too white. So I tea dyed it. Um, and then I threw it on a project bag. I have no idea. I could not find the pattern because I had stitched it a couple times and um, cause I had done it for a friend of mine. I had done it for my mom. And then I, I think I just gave the pattern away. So this one, I'm going to do a stitching box and it's not going to be in, oh, I did the video about it right after we had been up there and crazy things have been going on while I was up at the cabin. Um, but this one, I started, <laughs> look at that little dingle dong. Um, I started it and it got too low by mistake and it was kind of hard to stitch in the hoop, but I really like that that dark is down there. That one, I'm going to do Indian Summer and Weathered Barn. So that one is Indian Summer. So that's going to be, oh, I know. And this old, old pattern is also going to be a Christmas stitching box too. So both of those things are in that bag, but only one is officially started. So stitching box. And I've shared, I've shared a lot about the stitching boxes that I really got into before. Okay. My favorite project bag. This is my favorite fabric, French General. And um, we have, I have lots of stuff from this book. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay, so this is Ooh La La. So I'm working on two things. No, I'm, I have some things kitted up, but the only thing that I've started, I'm going to work on, oh, I know, this is now like my Valentine's Day stuff because I thought what, I have this one kitted up. And I, I even had the linen. That's why I bought that book. But I'm doing a 40 count. And I'm finding, yep, 40 count is a little bit of a challenge for me. But this one is a little bit French. And I'm going to do this as a needle book. So I have not progressed very far on that. That's baked apple. And that's on ale 40 count. So I need to get working on it. But I have a lot of things that I'm kidding up to work on that, but I really want to get some things done. But that's where these big project bags are great. Okay, here was a Valentine stitch that I did last year. And um, that one was Primitive Stitching by Shelly On. Pretty darn sure. Okay. Oh, this one I have a couple things in here because I need more 
Valentine's Project bags. I started this. Okay, but see, I stuck it in there. But so this one, um, content Kim, the contented stitcher had done last year. She did a Valentine's Day um, of her front room showing all her Valentine's or red projects. And so that one's Pineberry Lane, Token of Love. This was, and I really, I had really, really started curtailing my shopping um, even in the fall of last year, but this was one that I let myself get. Um, I actually got two from her. I'm looking at one right now. I got, I waited, but see, that was the thing. I waited about six months before I bought that pattern. And that's the other thing that I'm going to challenge myself with. So this is Cranberry and um, I got a start on it and I do love stitching in the season. And so whether I get them finished or not, um, it's going to be awesome. Now, Oh, this one's in there and I haven't gotten a start yet, but um, I I had shared that I had done this one on the Osnaberg. And even though I love the linen, this is a coffee dyed or tea dyed Osnaberg, it was not fun stitching on. And I'm going to change up the colors. So I'm going to use Mayflower Mocha by r and r because that's very close. So that's in that bag too. So I got a couple of Valentine's things in that bag so I can keep track. This is definitely one that I will take and work on while I'm at my dad's. This is my um, Joy Nevertheless. It's what I call the stitch along and I've I've not done the stitch along. I've not been good at that. But um, this is Oh Joyous Day. And I always, um, I'm doing this one in honor of my mom. And so I've started and I'm up here. But oh my word, these colors. Those colors are divine. So um, still have not progressed, but I do dearly love it. But I stopped. Um, I was doing fall and Christmas stitching, but it's doing lovely. Um, it's doing lovely. And I, I love doing things that remind me, like my dad had told me the house that my parents lived in in Pasadena before they moved to Colorado had gone up for sale and I looked at it on Zillow and it, it didn't look a thing. It had been redone and um, it was all fancy and pristine white and it was so cozy and happy when when my family was working there. But that's what, because I was thinking about those thoughts, that's when I stitched that pink house was stitching that and my mom made that home cozy and warm and lovely. So that was just a happy thought. So I wouldn't be sad about missing my mom. Okay, so this is a freebie. This is Baby's Alphabet. And I think you have to go on Pinterest, but it does say complimentary copy. And it's by Sheepish Designs, but it's tea dyed. I had done it with um, sulky threads and it was just too, it wasn't primitive enough. So I just tea dyed it. Um, ooh, look at these dark colors. Aren't those yummy? Okay, so here we go. This is Blackbird Designs. This is Bountiful Harvest. So, is it, I don't know. Is it that way? Whatever, whatever. No, it's not that way. I don't know how it is. Anyway. It is not done. That's how it is. But I think I did that all in one weekend. So because I stitch, um, I stitch in hoop one handed. It goes slower, but I like, that's just the rhythm that I like. And I like how the stitches turn out. <gasps> See, look at this is what happened. So this is loose on its own. Oh my goodness. And this is loose on its own. So we'll see. I will have to rewatch my video. And I know one of them was from that, um, from that old glory. Okay. So here is this this is my gardening project bag of my mom and my sister's fabric um so oh this was this was a mania start and um oh i love it um let's see christy crosshatch quilts and brenda um when she did her christmas tour from the year before last Oh, that is where i paused and bought it and um i love it so i'm doing it on the called for and um, this, this is, this is where I started and I think I got off, but that was just one days of stitching and these were my gifts. So that's where I love when I'm getting gifts, that's fine. Um, but these were from my sweet friend. So um, then those are the yummy colors. So, um, oh, I keep thinking I wanna work on that tonight. 
gonna make myself crazy but that's I think that's the fun thing that's what I need to do instead of being dissatisfied with what I have and wanting what everybody else has and getting inspired I am inspiring myself so oh I gotta work on this too okay so this was fabric that my mom had and this was another stitch along that I had started and oh Allison you had this done long ago so this one I do have a fair bit of stitching on there oh naughty okay so this is weird this was sticking that would have been sad that was stuck to this so that's what I need to do I know this can stick to the vinyl so don't leave it stuck to the vinyl but um, all this black ink I really need to um, either cover it or put it back in the plastic bag because that would have been all bad I would have been really upset about that um, so this is friends of the heart I will make sure you know the other thing I could just do I'm gonna do it right now because I'm not gonna take the time to find I don't have a plastic bag see I could just do that where I just stuck it inside there and then it won't it won't damage my linen but this is done with the called for um, it must be the called for this looks like Wren but that's how much I have going and I did pull it out recently and work on it so <sighs> can't wait to start stitching all right guys two more bags to go so oh, I love that fabric I want to say that's Sandy Gervais um, Brenda's sister I think that's her fabric okay so oh 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 time to work on this this is what everybody everybody is way ahead of me on this okay so this is this is the one where it's that full project but it's the winter autumn winter autumn summer loose feathers now from autumn I finished both of those two projects um, so I did both of those but I need to get going on um, I need to get going on that sampler so um, this is as far as I have and I think that was just one day of stitching so um, all right I'm so excited about stitching I guess that's good good that I did this whoops put all that stuff back in that bag Bonnie don't miss it okay last one okay good and I didn't have an avalanche yet okay so this I love that fabric okay oh springtime stuff springtime is a coming okay oh see blackbird colors now two books because they both use similar they both use similar threads so and blossom as the rose and sewing club look at see I think I think almost every single thing in here I want to make as well as this so that's where again I don't need no more stuff so um, let's see so this was something that I oh I know I'm gonna do a stitching box and I already painted it that color but um, it, it's caper and it was just too dark and I didn't like it so I think I'm gonna do some different do some different stuff so um, the other thing is the hollyhock bag and I remember when I was at my dad's I shared the story about the hollyhock so gosh that's so cute and I've got this so got that much done legacy so need to do more so I'm all excited I'm gonna start stitching that's it I finished it right at 103 one hour and three minutes good I got that done perfect 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 so I didn't take too long now um, here we go oh it's funny um, I've had this story to share so uh, several videos ago I shared about I had been going up to the cabin like weekend after weekend after weekend because of the gorgeous fall colors and then all of a sudden we had I called it an infestation of mountain lions so the mount there is two one or two mountain lions coming around all the time and sometimes they would come by like at seven o'clock at night and not we never saw it when we were there but I saw it on the cameras and then um, and I was just saying I was just totally freaked out about it and they it was it was getting excessive 
um, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But a different, you know, there is the thought, yes, we are in their mountains. Um, they're in our mountains too. But it, it was their mountains first. And uh, but mountain lions can attack people. Um, I was just watching a video last night of a gentleman that lives and is and was attacked by a mountain lion. So it was just there. But it was a good so so one of my viewers, so Lynn Lang shared something and I had been thinking that this was probably true, but but I liked hearing this. So um, this is what she shared. I know no one likes to have mountain lions so close, but they are such gorgeous creatures. They are. They're like big kitty cats. A friend of mine had a similar situation at her cabin here in Wyoming, and the game and fish told her that when young males are sort of ousted from family groups, they tend to move off in pairs and hang around a place they are familiar with until they get adjusted, which makes sense. They're basically pretty solitary. She had a camera on a game trail that showed a family of four young ones off and on all summer, and then all were just gone. I'm told banging a, a lid tin or something loud really works. Um, and yes, it does. So we have a, a metal screen security door. And so before I go outside at night to take Riley to the bathroom, my little fishing lure, I do, I bang, 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 bang that door. And I call out, I say, I'm coming out. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share that. And I, I had kept waiting till the end to share it. And it was always a little bit too late. So I got to dig out my Bible here now. Now, um, I had shared that my, my word of the year, oh, now, now starts the avalanche. My word of the year for 2022 is abide. And um, I shared a little bit of John 15. That's where I get it from. And so, oh, jiggle, jiggle. Um, so this is what I call the good stuff. So my faith in action with my Jesus. And December... December was a rough, December was a rough month and January has gotten kind of rougher. But um, in all that, we got to, we got to, we got to do life through all this. So a lot of stuff has been going on and that's where I knew um, I needed I, in my word for the year. That's why I chose abide. And so it talks about um, abiding in John 15. So, and I couldn't find the video where I shared it with, because I thought, what part of that chapter did I share? I don't know. So this could be a repeat, but this was the verse. So John 15, five, I am the vine and you are the branches. This is Jesus talking. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit for without me, you can do nothing. So how does Jesus abide in me? Because I asked him to be my savior and to come into my heart. And that's just the thought that he, he, I'm saved by his grace. I can't work my way into heaven. There's no way I can work my way into heaven. It's through his perfect life and his sacrifice dying on the cross. He gave his life. He rose from the dead and conquered death. And because I trust in him, that's how I'm saved by grace. You got jiggled again. So um, now what I wanted to share also was this verse. Um, this is nine, verse nine. As the father loved me, again, this is Jesus. I also loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. And I'm going to share off and on. Um, there's so much. There's so rich, John 15. Um, and so that's where, because there's just challenges um, that we're all going to be facing, um, that's why I needed to choose that word for the year so that it reminds me I must abide in Christ. I must be able to have the strength of of letting Him work in my life and submitting to what He would want for my life and asking him to help lead and guide me as my husband and I are looking to see, is this time for us to get out of California? Is it time for him to retire a little earlier than we had planned? Um, can, we, can we budget enough for that to happen? Um, or is it a later time? So we just have a lot of things that we need to work on, but that's why I need to abide in him and also um, supporting my dad. As, as he's struggling with aging. So just a lot of reasons why I need to abide. And um, so that's what I just wanted to share with you. So I am gonna continue to choose joy nevertheless. 
and I am can continue to abide in my Jesus. And I just pray that God would bless you. And I would like to challenge you to also, you know, it's funny because I've done this whole video and now I realize I'm just looking at a hole in my um, iPad. iPad. Why did I just realize that right now? I don't know. But um, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye guys. I'm I know I'm just a goofball. That's who I am. So thanks for loving me. Thanks for watching me and um, God bless you guys